So if you chose the path of suffering, that means that you're fucked. You're so fucked that you don't know how to get out of where you are. You're trapped. You're trapped either economically or in a relationship or in a situation, and you're suffering. It's not good for you. It's not good for the people around you, and you don't know how to change it. And so Buddha said this, right? Life is suffering, but you didn't think that he meant literally. And you're depressed, and you're physically out of shape, perhaps, and you're, you're not living your life to the extent that you know you could. You're living your life in your shadow. You're living your life in your limitation. You're living your life in all of the wounds and trauma that have added up to where you are right now. And you don't know how to get out of that. And so you're trapped. And so the thing about the path of suffering is the beginning of the way to get out of there is you have to have some hope. You have to have some belief that you can actually get to a new situation where you're actually happy and joyful and expressing life in the way that you choose to express, which is possible, but you have to go through a process. A process which starts here, you admitting that you need assistance and then you participating in this program to begin to awaken to who you are, to heal the parts that aren't whole, to transform and then enter into being your highest expression of yourself, doing what you want to do within the framework where you design your future. So if this sounds good to you and you want to participate, then here we go. We go to number two, the setup. We can begin to help you to get out of rock bottom by building you a trampoline that you can start to jump upon. So join me and let's see how far we can go down the rabbit hole.